Welcome back to the Fast Break Kids. I am Wiley here with Jared and we've got some smooth groovy tunes because we are talking about the basketball free agency. Some surprises and a video at the end and I hear you've got some sort of Photoshop set up. Maybe. So there's a whole lot here so let's just dig in. First off, Jared, the worst news of the day, LeBron James is going to the LA Lakers. What do you have to say? Excuse me. Watch out. Let me grab something. Actually, you know what? It's a terrible idea. I was gonna get a fake. You're gonna gun get out. a fake gun out. Yeah. But we're not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that video. I'm not gonna do that. Anyways. I should tell you how I feel. Yeah. Um. Wow. It's it came as kind of a surprise because I think yesterday I believe you were stated quoted as saying there's no way he's going to the Lakers. And then a few hours later he went to the Lakers. Well, you know, that's that's my problem, because that's I need to start saying things like, <laughs> he'll never go to Phoenix. Yeah. Because then he'll yeah. go to Phoenix. I think the Lakers, yes, they had a promising future with some young guns, but you have no idea with that kind of team. You can have a bunch of young guys and they look great, and it just be bun. They're asking, I saw on ESPN, they're asking, uh, does, it, does it make them title contenders? And most of them were like, no, not yet. I'm sorry. Uh, does LeBron need just any competent roster? Yes. Granted, they'll have to go through either Houston or Golden State right. every right. year now. Okay, it's LeBron. Like with the Rockets. Oh, yeah. The Rockets, I don't think the Rockets are better than the Lakers at this point. Just because the Lakers have LeBron now. If LeBron plays like he's been playing, who's to suggest that they can't yeah. get past the Rockets? I think this immediately makes them title contenders. Yeah, all variables remain the same. Cleveland will be terrible. Yeah. And I think I think the Lakers will be phenomenal. Also, uh, Kawhi is still pushing very, very hard to land in, in L.A. If you're the Lakers, do you do you slow play this thing for the year? Or do you just say, we got to do whatever we can to get Kawhi now? If you don't go for it, San Antonio might just deal him to somebody else. San Antonio right. doesn't care. San they don't Antonio care where they send him. Care. San they Antonio. just want whatever they, they want as much as they can back for one of the best players in the league. If I'm LA, go all in. Who cares if you got to give up a Kuzma and a Lonzo Ball? Who cares? You get, you get a guy who's proven to be unbelievable. 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 Okay. We, I think we forget since how he's good. Been yeah. out, he's been out for so long. It's easy to just like start forgetting that he's incredible. Absolutely. A couple of big pickups here. We won't stay on for too long. Chris Paul resigns with the Rockets as we expected. They're coming back. I just hope he stays healthy in the playoffs. That's all they need him for. Just rest him 82 games. For the playoffs, he'll still get injured in the Western Conference Finals, and it'll be just heartbreaking again. At this point, I can't not root for the Rockets because I feel so bad for Chris so Paul. So bad for Chris Paul. He flushed so many years down the Clipper toilet. They should have beat the Warriors this year. It yeah. should have been yeah. Houston, yeah, 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 yeah. Cleveland in the finals. Like, you can't tell me otherwise. They should have won Game 7 without him. That game was close to the final and they missed like four million three-pointers if Gerald Green had hit like three if James Harden had hit a couple more don't remind me of that game let's move forward let's move forward probably the most surprising thing happened uh just the other day Paul George chooses to re-sign with the OKC Thunder playoff P I like it considering how bad he was in the playoffs I think he was kind of like his confidence and his ego are like bruised after that I don't I don't even want to to know what was going through his mind during that. Yeah, and look, you know, they got Carmelo back because Carmelo's like, well, of course I'm going to opt in for $24 million. I'm not even that good anymore. He's not going to be happy if he comes off the bench. And you know what's worse than uh, Carmelo Anthony right now? A disgruntled Carmelo Anthony it's right now. Carmelo, Anthony. Carmelo, go to China. Go to China. Go to China. Live the Stephen Marbury oh. experience. You're like a god over yes. there. Yes, yes. Don't play for the Ducks, because that's you're going to be in the shadow of Marbury. Shadow of Marbury. Uh, <laughs> it's not a big shadow, but it's big It's it's big over there. The man has his own museum. Yeah. Stephon Marbury Museum, all right? I'd visit that. That's enough right there. I'd visit that. Yeah. Jared, let's also talk about uh, the Lakers made a couple other splash 
moves. Would you like to discuss this to the people right now? Lance Stevenson and JaVale McGee, Tragic Bronson himself, are going to join LeBron in LA. This is so I great. love it. No, this is so great. This is so good. I hate the Lakers. I don't want to see him win. Uh, but first of all, I truly, truly, genuinely believe that Lance Stevenson and JaVale McGee will prevent them from winning. Uh, oh, well, it's, yeah. They, I, I, I mentioned Although JaVale last McGee night. was able to keep it together for the Warriors. Whatever. Warrior squad, how could you fail <laughs> with those guys around you? The Los Angeles Lakers are no longer the Los Angeles Lakers. They are the Los Angeles Means. Because this is going to be the most hilarious. Assuming these guys get court time, and I think they will, because I don't think they would have brought them in to just like. No. JaVale McGee's not like a great locker room presence. <laughs> like, unless you like. Trying unless to get you his enjoy Twitter, Twitter account on your, on your side. Not only are these guys playing in an NBA team, but they're on the same team with LeBron. This is sitcom stuff. This is going to be hilarious. Yeah. It's going to be so funny. You thought it was funny when LeBron came over to JR after that, that gaffe and was like, "You, this is going to be hilarious. JaVale and Lance Stevenson with LeBron as the straight man? Are you kidding oh, me? Man. LeBron's got to play this babysitter Dude. for all these kids. For any of those Lakers fans who are not happy with anything that's shaking down with their free agency, go dig a hole and sit in it, all right? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear, I don't like LeBron. I don't want him on my team. Okay. I don't want to hear anything. Don't worry, because those Lakers fans, they're going to be completely, entirely outnumbered, and, and, and their voice is going to be so minuscule in comparison to the Lakers fans that are at this moment currently crawling out of the woodwork grabbing their old Lakers dusty old Lakers gear out of the top shelf of their closet from that time that they once bought a Lakers hat from Walmart when Kobe was playing it's time it's time Lakers fans to come out of the, the woodwork and well, I'm a Lakers fan. I've been a Lakers fan for life, bro. I've had this hat since, you know, since 2000, or since 1998 with Shaq and Kobe. And then they put it, and then, he, then they put it back on the shelf. And then for, and then 2005. You got Pau Gasol? You got Pau Gasol? Oh, what? Championship? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At Lake, oh, Kobe retired. I'm going to put that back on the shelf. Los Angeles memes. I'm telling you. We can only hope. They didn't film it, yeah. but I got I got a sneak photo. You got a sneak photo of what? Of the the celebration party of the new Los Angeles memes. What? The new Los Angeles memes slash Lakers big three party. Let's see it. It's right there. Check oh it out. Oh my there gosh! Can you believe this? Can you believe this? It's happening. It's finally happening. I think that's enough for us talking about free agency, honestly. We don't need a whole lot. From the FIBA uh, World Cup qualifier between the Philippines and Australia. What we're going to see here is something that erupted. And I... And I mean erupted. Alright, okay, a little... Oh! Okay. Right off the bat, we've got two people down. Typically in a basketball exchange, a couple people go down, there's a scrum, but that's with real basketball players that play in the NBA. Easy. Uh, just saying. Oh. Oh my lord. Oh my, lord. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? What are they doing? Who fights like that? Did you see that? At the bottom of the screen? Yeah, I saw that. Do you know who that is? Who is that? That is Thon Maker. Uh, really? Thon Maker is going karate kid, jumping at people, and just letting them have it. What was that move, though? I don't oh. understand what that was. Let's keep watching, because it gets, it gets good. Get out of control. 
Okay, this guy over this here. This guy's like trying his hardest to look like he's fine. Look at him. Oh. Look at him. Bring it on. He's running away. Oh. He ran the length of the no, court. No, dude. And then he's like bouncing like, come on, man. Like to like a point guard. Wait, he's yeah, like 6'8". Oh, wait. Running back over. What's going on here? We've got fans coming in. Watch the right of the screen here. And you'll see a fan runs, tries to run to get into this thing, and he's holding a dumpster, and a guy <laughs> grabs it from his hand. A garbage can. A garbage can. Okay, yes. a dumpster is typically a Sorry, large. not a dumpster. Can we also put right here. a blowout? Look at this guy. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're not going to get that. He's pretty beat up. That guy's got a chair stuck to him. This game's like a blowout, too, at this point already. In the third quarter. So here's how it starts. Little elbow right there. I don't get it. The Philippines guy starts it with an elbow and then blasts him. Things get crazy. Thon Maker's over there. Rugged. There's Thon. Wow. What is that? What, what is was that, dude? That's the Thon Maker phase. fight technique. That's a, <laughs> when you're breaking up a fight, though. Uh, my first, my first uh, impulse is not run over and and try and like jump on. You try to like them. jump. Yeah, and then like. Jeez. Meanwhile, wow, what a melee. Pacquiao's not even in there. No kidding. What was that? And this dude's like, uh-uh, bam, Whoa. elbow. He's big. This guy. Whoa! Oh! That guy's awesome. That guy is so short. He had to jump to get on his level to punch him with like a clean right hook. Right Boom! Here comes these guys on again. These dudes in the back are just like, how do I get involved with this at this point? <laughs> look, look, look at him. Oh, I got, that guy punched Thon oh. in the back of the head and then ran. <laughs> <laughs> He's hiding me. <laughs> <laughs> This has so many dimensions to it. According to the reports, apparently 13 guys were sus were uh, kicked out, were um, thrown out of the game. And so I believe it came down to like a five on three, like to finish the game or something. Really? I think that so. That sounds more interesting than the fight even. And that fight was pretty interesting. Yeah. It, it really was uh, quite a scene in the Philippines. Probably one of the biggest fights you've seen there. It was a Philistine. Time for a little segment called This Week in Sports. Oh. Okay. Oh. This Week in Sports, uh, on July 4th, 2003, Kobe Bryant was arrested for sexual assault. He's come a long way. Shamed. So, that's sort of the Lakers' low point. Sorry. And here we're... Shout out, Colorado. For being... Shout out Fawn Maker for being a crackhead. <laughs> By the way, Kobe, great guy. I think he's turned it around. Yeah, definitely. You know, that was in 2003. 2003. He went on to win a championship not that long afterwards. That is correct. That's a big bounce back. In 1994, Buster Douglas came out of a diabetic coma. Is that the one that Evander Holyfield beat him into? No, it was a diabetic coma. If anybody, it was Sugar Ray Leonard. Oh! Whoa! In, on July 7th, 2013, Annie Murray became the first British man to win Wimbledon since 1936. That's so great, and it's such terrible timing because he just withdrew from the from Wimbledon just days before. I didn't know that. Yeah, he's got an injured hip. You know what? He should probably see Dr. Shakir about that. She's a, she's a master on the subject. Just switch to 6 8. I didn't do that. So, thanks for tuning in. In the meantime, uh, though. In the meantime. The Phoenix Suns. Land of the Rising Sun, folks. Uh, They're rising wildly like a Phoenix from Arizona! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Um, let's go, Suns! Let's go, Suns. Thanks for tuning in. Um. You can catch us on Twitch. We stream Monday through Fridays at 10 p.m., 10 a.m. and 9 p.m. 
Uh, you can check us out on Facebook. We got a Facebook page where we post all of our videos. Obviously, subscribe and like to our YouTube channel, which is what you're on right now. Duh. Uh, tell others about it as well. Share it. And let's just keep this train rolling because we're here to stay. We're here to stay. And in the coming months, we'll be getting a Patreon account going too. So you guys can help us contribute and be a part of the show as well. That'll be exciting. Uh, so tune in next time. For Jared, I'm Wiley. It's been the Fast Break Kids. Keep it clean, keep it fresh, and keep it fun. Go See you science. next time. Don't punch anybody in the back of the head and then run. Shout out. Punch him in the face and get knocked out like a man. Shout out, Thon Maker, for being a crackhead. <laughs>